Hi, and welcome to another episode of Turning the Page. In this one, we have the uh, Advanced Techniques, Painting and Weathering Military Vehicles book, uh, Volume 6, I believe, uh, probably mispronouncing this, by, by Riga Publishing International, an Italian company. Very high quality, high gloss cover here, uh, very thick cover, and a nice, uh, uh, nice, very quality glossy pages. We've got it broken down into, into four sections, three actual articles on projects and a gallery. Uh, introduction by Thomas Abondi. And the first article is uh, a Centurion ARV Mark II, which was uh, by Vincenzo Lana and Alessandro Brucci, uh, ex uh, subtitled Extreme Weathering Techniques. And this is the Accurate Armor 135th kit they're, uh, they're doing, a weathering project or weathering article on. Uh, you can see they go into quite a bit of detail on uh, the various uh, upgrades and photo etch uh, things they've done to it. Uh, we've got quite a bit of technique going on here with these. Um, airbrushing techniques, uh, they're using light color paints on this portion, then dry brushing, uh, then some more uh, brush techniques, uh, some uh, looks like steel wool and uh, powder, you know, weathering powder application. Uh, they're using life color paints, AK, Interactive, I know there's MIG being used in here, quite a few different product lines. So you can see, um, you know, a lot of information very well done in terms of uh, the English, um, I don't know if they're translations, but the English writing is, is very discernible. Let me just read this one, for example. To make the tank license plate, we apply a coat of primer on the on the plaque. Once dry, we write and number numbers with a, with a hand brush. A steady hand is required, but the result is more than acceptable. It's also possible to use a radiograph. In this case, uh, remember to apply several coats uh, coat of clear to seal ch uh, China ink that is very fragile even when dry. So they go through that whole process. Um, and again, this, this article runs for a while. Uh, all these are fairly big, and this is about 125 pages, I believe, uh, the whole magazine, the whole soft cover book, I should say. And then they get to this article, which is a restoration extreme weather and techniques. Again, uh, same authors. Uh, this is the GMC half ton six by six uh, and the uh, duck and uh, taller and the end duck and the Italiari 135th scale. I guess they're both the same. A kit manufacturer and so they go into this whole diorama project outlining the truck build um, nice again nice step by steps here very very easy to follow a lot of good a lot of good text along with them like, as a reference book I mean it's hard to it's hard to criticize or critique something like this it, it looks like it's been very well documented very well um, augmented with you know text uh, descriptions and so forth I actually missed a page here but um, and they, you know, that goes through the various layers, obviously, of, of, uh, phases of, of, uh, of the project. Looks like a salt treatment there to do, uh, potential just weathering. Uh, and again, all the way through this one, which is quite a few pages long. Let's skip over a bit there. Don't want these videos to be too long. We're already at three minutes. Um, the building of the house even is included in this. Looks like it was scratch built together. Very, very nice. Um, it's like a guy in Florida or something. <laughs> uh, it could be anywhere though, obviously. And, uh, like the shell shirt that looks like it says hell. That's kind of interesting. And then we have, uh, the last one, the last article is, uh, to me, a Resicast 135th Twisted Fate Extreme Weathering Techniques. And again, this one goes, there's a lot of uh, text intro to it, which is nice. Um, the scrap heap of uh, what this is going to be, and then obviously the dozer. Very nice uh, article, I think, the, or very nice diorama, I should say. It's a, kind of an interesting twist on the whole idea of, of doing armor. And uh, sorry, I don't need to block that. And again, we're not trying to show the entire magazine, so let me skip to the back. The gallery, uh, this has got a lot of different projects from different authors. Uh, Mig, uh, uh, Mig, and uh, I'm not sure, maybe he did a couple of these. And Peter Olaf Lund, and who is this? Another Peter Olaf Lund. Interesting, interesting work. Um, Frank Porat. So probably Frank, actually. But anyway, so again, some nice project stuff here in the back. If you you know want to see other Hopper's work, nice white color ad. And 
that concludes that quick uh, little tour of this book. Uh, take a look for it. It's probably out there online or in your local hobby shop.